That's a shot just right outside of the Wellmark YMCA where we are for the final day of the Tier Pro Swim Series. Coming to you from Des Moines, Iowa. And hello everybody, I am Jeff Cummings with my co-host three-time Olympian, Carolyn Joyce. Kara, it's been a really fun three and a half days of competition so far. Oh yeah, I think we've seen a lot of fast swimming, probably more than we were expecting, but I think March is always a good month to swim fast. Yeah, I think you, it's always kind of iffy because some people are trying to put in a good rest before they really get back into training. Some people just swim right through it. So you never know what to expect, and especially when we got some international flavor here with Brazil and China. Mm -hmm. They've really kind of upped their game too. And I think the Americans know that they, they can't just rest on their laurels. Oh yeah, we've seen a lot of Americans step up to go head to head. And I think that's what's made this really exciting. We've had sold out crowds here. It's It's been a great fan experience as yeah. well. And one thing I think is really exciting about the Tier Pro Swim Series is the swim squads. Yes. If you don't know really about it, it's like fantasy swimming. We got four captains who select their best swimmers for each meet. And here you see the standings after three days of competition and the meet in Knoxville. Look at that, Camille Adams has a 24 point lead over Elizabeth Bison who was running fourth before last night. Now she's jumped up to second. These are all I, endurance athletes, too. Yeah, these are all <laughs> endurance athletes, so they're all going to be really kind of hammering out the, the, the last three meets. But I'm really impressed with what Beisel did in that last night. She's moved up from fourth to second. She can't be carried out. None of these people can be carried out. I think Camille can't rest on her laurels at all, even <laughs> though she's got a 24-point lead going into tonight. It's going to be really cool. And look who we have here for our... Um, deck pass hey, live. We have thank Camille you guys. Adams. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yes, yeah, so you must be really excited after last night. Obviously, so excited. <laughs> I mean, we just keep killing it. I'm like, guys, when are you going to step up? Like, come on. So that what was your really strategy bad. in choosing your team? Because you're yeah. running away with this. Yeah, we. I did spend a little bit of time. I'm obviously, well, we're all really competitive, but I'm super competitive. So <laughs> spent a little bit of extra time before we, when we did the draft and really making sure that I had good picks that we're going to go a lot of these meets because that's what I think is number one most important. Who's going to show up? meet after meet after meet um, and so that's what I looked at first and then after that just really wanted to have a good base between all the strokes and I think that's really set me up well leaning into Des Moines and obviously into tonight. And we're looking at last night's mixed medley relay where you had a big lead with Jacob Pelley oh, it was and then, exciting. It was and so then you had Michael Andrew on the oh my finish gosh, on the there. End, like, what an amazing, amazing relay you put together. So fun. I think that's like one of my favorite parts about the meets this year are the mixed relays. They're so exciting and so much fun. And I think it's great for the athletes also to kind of band together and just do something different. Yeah, it's all strategy based. Too. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we were talking about the people you have on this team. And, and even just on your mixed medley last night, really impressive. <laughs> Jacob Pepley. Thanks. And that could Michael be an Olympic Andrew. relay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for and, sure. And Kelsey Dolly. I mean, they, they've I been really just doing so well. I mean, yeah, they're always performing well. Well, but right. this meet, I think they've really stepped they up. They have, yeah. It's been super fun. I mean, I've watched Kelsey for quite some time now, so I'm really, really excited to see her kind of break out of her shell and just keep chipping away. And she's just killing it, you know, and obviously Michael being close to home and stuff, he obviously has quite the crowd here watching him. So yeah. um, that's been really fun, too. But I think I just have such a great squad, and they keep showing up, and hopefully they'll keep going through the rest of the meets. Yeah. Jacob had a clutch 200 he did. back last night, I know. pulling out the W. He's going to have a good one tonight, too. Yeah. Give him a little pep talk. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. I got it. Don't worry, guys. She's She's a real coach. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. This is probably what you've been. This Only is what you've been living for. Only a little. Do you have a lot of communication with your athletes, not just at the meet, but in between? A little bit. Like I try to, you know, keep up with them and give them a little shout outs here and there, and just check in on what's going on and stuff like I'm that. Sure they so, appreciate that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I wasn't here that long ago. You know, haven't been removed for too long, so it is still so much fun to watch them. And I definitely wasn't a sprinter. And if you look at my squad, it's like all sprinters. So <laughs> I'm learning a lot too about yeah. the sprint stuff, um, which is it's fun for me. What about uh, any kind of communication you have with the other captains? Any kind of yeah. smack talk? Like, you better Total watch, smack your, talk. watch yeah. yourself. Are you like in a group text with oh, everyone? Yeah, definitely a <laughs> group text. There's definitely a text with you or an email thread with USA Swimming too, which is so fun. I mean, yeah, Jaeger and Maya not entering backstrokers. Obviously, they're like, it's fine. Who needs backstrokers? And Elizabeth and I are like, yeah, yeah right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Um, yeah, so it's really, really fun. And obviously, they're all coming at me today. So I'm just like sitting back <laughs> and hanging out. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, you've had a lot of updates in your life recently. Yeah. Yes, so you just updates. moved, we bought did a new move. house. Finally. How, yes. how did that all come about? We did. We actually built it. So we've wow. been, like, since this time last year, I feel like, building this house. So we were very ready to get in. Um, my husband turned 40 last week, so also good. He started a new job, all the things. <laughs> um, and then the swim schools, we have six of those going on. Wow. And busy, busy. We're opening up another location March 15th. So congratulations. congratulations. It's great. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm doing the Swim Across America in Houston um, in May as well. So I'm wow. actually really needing to get back into the water. I think I might get in a little 
little swim between prelims and finals. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that yeah. because Jeff and I were talking and, and we feel like if you're going to do a comeback now yeah. is the time to really oh, get it, it in. Right yeah. now. Yeah. Right yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Before. About 15 months right. out. Especially is the for the tournament butterfly, right? Yeah. Yes. It's the perfect time. And I feel yeah. like you could really contribute. I could, yeah, I could totally <laughs> do it. We need another 205, 206 yeah. in there. I don't think that's <laughs> happening anytime soon. I'm going to be lucky to finish a 5K, so I've got to get, I have to get back in and start training a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You're probably better now just being a cheerleader for Haley Love and it. all of those. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Haley I'm sure that makes you so proud to seeing her. It is. Killing it. Yeah, like this meet, I was like, I was so excited to see what she was going to go and night one I was like yes girl okay. so super excited to watch her too well it's great to have you we know you're yeah. going to be doing a clinic here it's going to so be really excited. fun to be seeing you work with those kids it is. yeah it's going to be a great afternoon I can't wait all right well thank you so much yeah. for thanks joining us Camille for thanks for stopping thank by thank you guys all right so like we said Camille's going to be doing a clinic with the athletes and it's one of the ways that a lot of these athletes like to give back and USA Swimming likes to try to change the outlook of the faces that we see on deck. So take a look at what they do for diversity and inclusion. They might say we don't belong. But why do we it's even do this? We might even get sideways glances. They say we are different. And we are. We stare at a black line for hours at a time. We are up before the sun rises. We cover thousands of miles without actually going anywhere. We train for countless hours to get just one-tenth of a second faster. We are different. We are swimmers. We are USA Swimming. And we are one. USA Swimming Diversity and Inclusion has been empowering athletes and coaches for 15 years. Through education programs, camps for athletes and coaches, community swim team programs, and coaching mentorship. When looking back at the past 15 years, it's hard not to be wowed by how far we've come, from teaching thousands of kids how to swim, all the way to Olympic gold. We are proud of what we have done and are excited for the future. We are USA Swimming. We are one. And welcome back to the Wellmark YMCA for the second half of Deck Pass Live presented by Xfinity. I'm Jeff Cummings with Olympian Carolyn Joyce. As you saw, we've got time trials going on. I believe it's the guy who won the 200 butterfly. Alex Knurk, she's trying to get like a qualifying time for Germany for world championships. It's really kind of exciting to see these international athletes want to come to the United States. He, I think he swims at Queens University in Charlotte, so he's getting ready for NCAAs, but before he did that, he wanted to come here and It's and a fast race. pool, it's got fast water. Yeah, and he's got some good time. competition. Yep. Yeah, really good. So, as we talked about last night, we had some really exciting swims. I mean, not the least of which, all of those, uh, the, the 200 butter, the 400 IM, the 200 free, but that women's 200 backstroke by Kath Kathleen Baker. Look at this, this is the last 50, look at that. Just she ran away with it. She's been on fire at this meet. Between the 50 all the way up to the 200, nothing is slowing her down. No, and she's had a great tempo all the way through. And, you know, she was splitting about 32, 33s all the way. Very consistent for someone like this. And I know the 200 backstroke has always been one of her events, but mm -hmm. I think she's really stepped it up in this last year and a half. And, oh. you know, this is a great time. 208, oh, yeah, that's a that's a very fast time to put down in March. Yeah. 208 is, it's, that's very quick. And in second place, there we had Haley Flickener Who, throwing down a 210. That was her second event and their triple. Yeah, yeah. She had a big triple last night. So um, these two ladies, I think, have probably been the front runners just lighting it up at this meet. But, and, and I'm sure Reagan Smith, who is kind of one of the, the big top swimmers in the 200 back for the United States as well, was looking at that and saying, OK, Kathleen's doing well. We got to work I think she just threw down harder. some fast times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we're, today in prelims, it was a little bit more of a sprint day to day. We my kind of day. Yeah. Your, your kind of day. My kind of day, too. Uh, so we had the women's and men's 50 freestyles. We want to show you the fastest swims from those um, events today, starting out with the, uh, the women's 50 freestyle. We had a lot of competition, but it was Margot Gear, who is a top swimmer to, today, or sorry, we're actually with the men, and of course it's Michael Andrew. 
He's You'll in see lane him number in lane four. four. And Michael's never really been known to have the best start of the 50, but there that was a good the start top, for him. So he had a great one. And he scratched the 100 fly today to focus solely on this 50 free. I mean, Michael has speed, and I think he has a unique training environment. He swims alone every day, so you give him an opportunity to swim against seven other guys, he's going to run with it. Yeah, and he really ran with this. Look at this lead he had in the 50 free. Stuff. Going under 22 in prelims. I mean, that's a big deal. Very fast time, 21.9 for Michael. And Andrew. we'll just mention Caleb Dressel also swam with 22.3. I think Caleb has the 50, has the 100 fly, so he's going to be maybe just a little, a little bit rusty. Tired. But I think when he's when he's on the blocks, he doesn't think about the race he just had. He thinks about the race that's right in front of him. I think this has been a training meet for Caleb as well. He's swum a lot of events here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he also had a triple yesterday, but he was really good in that 50 free. So look for that Michael Andrew Caleb Dressel matchup tonight. And the women's 50 freestyle is our top scorer was Margot Gear, who's really been stepping it up since train just moving up to Bloomington, Before, Indiana to train with the the uh, pro group there at Indiana University. Yeah, we talked about Margot a couple days ago. I mean, she has gotten faster and faster. And um, somebody that's been on the scene for at least a decade now. Um, but she's one of the top female sprinters in the country, putting down a 25-2-8 this morning. Excellent morning swim. Um, we have a lot of great women that are going to be in that final tonight between Olivia Smoliga, Natalie Hines, Leah Neal, and Madison Kennedy. I mean, it's, it's a pretty stacked field. It really is a stacked competition. It's not just at this meet, but just in the 50 freestyle. You might say Simone Manuel's kind of at the head of the class there in the 50 freestyle, but when it's a 50, nothing's for certain. You know that for <laughs> sure, is that, you know, one stroke can kind of derail anything that you might be playing to do it's in an, It's an art. It's all choreographed race. So. so you say it's an art, and I don't really see it that way. I see it's just a mad scramble yeah. from start to finish. Maybe that's why I'm not so good at the 50 yeah, freestyle. Yeah, you slow it down in your mind before you do it. Yeah. I think it's like 21, 22 seconds of just utter chaos. But I know you probably shouldn't think of it that way because then you yeah you start to scramble so it's got to be really good matchups and those are going to be the last events here at the pro swim series yeah. so i think that's a good way to finish the meet time oh, on I this agree. high of big uh, pow yeah 50 freestyle so you don't want to miss all the racing tonight you want to head over to usaswimming.org beginning at 7 p.m central time and we're going to start off with the men's and women's 800 freestyles with some distance events and then we're going to get to some of the uh, faster events we're going to have the 100 backstroke the 200 breaststroke, the 100 butterfly, the 200 IM, and as I said, we're going to finish it off with the 50 freestyle. Some really good matchups. And one of the things I can't wait to see is Rice K. Irie, Jacob Helley matching up again like they did yeah. in the Baxter last night. Oh, yeah, they were stroke to stroke the entire way, so that'll be a great matchup. Yeah. And then we get to talk to Blake Peroni tonight. Yeah, Blake Peroni is going to be our guest tonight on the show. He's had a good meet so far. He won the 100. Very close in the 200. He's just been one of those athletes for the United States who's really just gotten better and better. And better. Oh, yeah. Big and breakout meet in the end of 2018. So yeah, I think that's a lot of momentum for him, too. Yeah, and he's going to be, and he had a historic year last year, breaking 130, the first one to break 130 at 200 yards. So he's just getting better and better. And I think that momentum is just going to keep him going up to the 2020 trials where he's actually going to be making a second Olympic team. People yep. don't know he was at the 2016 Olympics. He got yep. a gold medal swimming in the prelims, the 800 free relay. I'm sure he wants to be on that final. Oh, Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's motivation. Impact. Yeah, <laughs> everybody wants to be on that final relay. It's good to say I got a gold medal, but you want to say I did it in the finals. Yes. You get that TV time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you definitely don't want to miss that. So after all the finals are done, you want to come, you want to stay with USAswimming.org. Carrie and I will be here. Blake Peroni will be here. You don't want to miss it. We're going to wrap everything up here from Des Moines. So that's going to do it for today's show. We're going to see you tonight. Everybody, thanks for watching.